Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. Well, for many students in Indiana, eighth grade is the first and last time they'll focus on climate change in class. Many high school students are encouraged to take courses that prepare them for college, like chemistry and biology, instead of environmental science. Now, that puts a lot of pressure on eighth grade science teachers to teach the subject right. But as Indiana Public Broadcasting's Rebecca Thiel reports, many struggle to find up-to-date, reputable materials for their lesson plans. Who's future? Our future! Who's future? Our future! What do we want? Climate justice! What do we want? Now! In March, kids around the world skipped class to demand their leaders take action on climate change. But middle schoolers at Center for Inquiry School 27 in Indianapolis did something different. They set up a fair to teach younger kids about climate change and what they can do to help. We're doing it because it's real and it's very important for younger kids to know that this could be that their future and the world could be messed up if we don't take a stand now. Jackson's science teacher, Lori Baker, says she spends countless hours sifting through climate change info to make her lesson plans. So when she received a professional-looking booklet in the mail a few years ago, she was excited. And then I actually started just flipping through and realized that's certainly not what it was. It was from the Heartland Institute, a conservative think tank that denies people cause climate change. Baker says she was frustrated. No one has ever reached out to me as a middle school science teacher ever to give me information about climate science, except the Heartland Institute. They were the only ones that took the time to send me a book about climate change. According to the eighth grade science standard, students are required to research global temperatures over the past century and compare and contrast data in relation to the theory of climate change. But some teachers say the curriculum isn't cutting it. You might have a purchased curriculum that's excellent, but on a topic like climate change, by the time the book is published, it's already out of date. Martha Bowman teaches science at Tri-North Middle School in Bloomington. If we just were to use a textbook, then we would be selling our kids short. Many teachers have to wade through endless information online. And this isn't just an Indiana problem, it's a national problem. National Science Teachers Association Executive Director David Evans says it's only just recently, since 2013, that we started requiring teachers to teach climate change in this country. And it takes a while for materials to be, uh, for the adoption to take place. And it takes a while to, uh, to produce quality instructional materials to, to help out. We talked about climate is the, the normal weather in a certain place over a long period of time. Keith Morey at Centerville Abington Junior High shows his students an animated map from NASA that looks at how average temperatures have changed since the late 1800s. What do we notice most of the Earth is? Hot, well, or above average, right. Many of the teachers we interviewed relied on materials from NASA. But Maury says not everything is as accessible, especially when you have kids at different levels of ability. He says several students, and even some adults, still struggle with the difference between climate and weather. Yes, you can make a snowball and still have a changing climate that's getting warmer. Curtis Moffitt teaches at Eastern Green Middle. It's in a rural district about half an hour southwest of Bloomington. He says sometimes kids will come into class with their own ideas about climate change, mostly what they've learned from their families. I don't like to tell kids what to think. I like to give them a lot of information, and then we discuss, and just say, what, what do you think, where do you stand, and why do you feel that way? While we talked to several teachers for this story, it's impossible to tell what's going on in every eighth grade science classroom in Indiana. Lori Baker says she worries about the teachers that can't dedicate as much time and resources to the subject as she does. Especially for a topic that's already difficult, challenging, controversial, and perhaps not exactly supported, depending on where you are. We'll have a link to resources and tips for science teachers on our website. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Rebecca Thiel.